Hello again, this is Fair by NoWeOptions.com and we are continuing the how to trade the Australian dollar, US dollar pair or the Aussie pair and we said that this one is moving based on the economic differences between Australia and the United States of America. The Aussie pair, it is influenced by what the central bank in Australia is, do is doing, basically the Reserve Bank of Australia that is meeting on a monthly basis on Tuesdays and the statement is followed by a press conference and any economic releases out of China is strongly, but strongly, are strongly influencing the way the Australian dollar dances if you want. What else to look for? Well, look for commodities. But uh, in comparison with the Canadian economy that is strongly dependent by oil, here you gotta look for commodities like gold, platinum, copper, iron because Australia is a commodity rich country, continent it is a commodity rich economy so whatever happens with the prices of gold, platinum and copper and with the whole commodity basket is strongly influencing the Australian dollar. So if you want to trade call options on Australian dollar on uh, lower gold prices or when, when, when the whole commodity basket and the commodity sector is suffering, then either you are trading with uh, really big expiration date, end of month or maybe a couple of months if your broker allows or maybe even end of year if your broker allows in order to, um, to skip the negative cycle in the commodities or otherwise you are just betting against uh, headwinds. What else to, con to consider? Well, like any other central bank, the Australian dollar, the Australian, uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia also takes into consideration CPI or inflation because it has a mandate to keep inflation below or close to 2% like any major central bank. So when inflation it comes, when inflation comes is definitely really, really important. Then we are talking about the jobs data. Recently, the last two job um, job events were really good in Australia, and as a consequence, the Australian dollar basically appreciated on each and every currency pair on the dashboard. As a result, so look at the look at the jobs data. Then you are looking for the PMIs and in Australia PMIs are being div not divided are being split exactly like in the United Kingdom basically PMI construction PMI services and PMI manufacturing while the UK economy was a service based economy and we said there that the PMI services is the most important one and you look at that moment, or at that one, uh, what to um, what the print is, or in the United States, it is a service-based economy. So, if you're looking at the PMI, then you are interested to see the employment component, for example, in the PMI services, rather than in the PMI manufacturing, because that one will influence the non-farm payrolls. Non-farm payrolls will influence the interest rate hike, and the the monetary policy and the US dollar will move, uh, will move aggressively. In here, in Australia, PMI construction services and manufacturing. I would say that services and manufacturing are, um, are really important or are of, a, of an equal importance as well. Then of course in both countries, in both countries one needs to look at the GDP or the gross domestic product. If the GDP, of course, is positive, then it means that the economy is expanding. Depending on the rate of the expansion and so on, the Fed, the Fed or the Reserve Bank of Australia will come to hike the rates on a stronger than anticipated GDP or to cut the rates or to lose the monetary policy or to ease the monetary policy on a lower than expected uh, GDP. You look also at housing data. I mean, in the United States in 2008 we had a financial crisis that spread across the world based on the housing data, based on a crushing housing sector. The housing data, the housing data is, um, is basically referring to building permits 
let's say in here, building permit. Home sales. These releases are in both countries. Why it is important for an economy? Well, because if the building permits are, are reaching, uh, I don't know, 10 months high, then it means that some buildings are going to be built in the future. And if you, if you have uh, um, a construction sector that is booming, then jobs will be created, then um, the in industry on the horizontal is going to expand as well. Like, I mean, you gotta, uh, you gotta employ people for, for buildings, you gotta, you gotta buy some furniture for the whole, uh, for the whole building and so on. So these are, these are important events, economic events to watch. So just go on the economic calendar. This is the Forex factory, but you can actually use anyone and look for that kind of situations. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.